In this video, I'll show you how to add new uploaded Google Drive file links in Notion automatically. So as you all know, Notion is an amazing note taking application where you can manage your project, manage your task and in fact maintain a database. And here I want that whenever any new file is uploaded inside a Google Drive folder, the same file link should be automatically added into the Notion as a database item so that I don't need to manually copy the data and import it here. So if you also want to sync your Google Drive files of a specific folder with the Notion, come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is the folder I have created inside Google Drive application and if any of my team member is going to upload any new design or any new file, the link for the same should be automatically added here so that my team can access all the filings directly from the Notion itself, okay? And to create this automation, I'll have to integrate Google Drive and Notion and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect. Well, it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box now. If you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you'll have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test such kind of amazing automation okay i am already an existing user of public connect so firstly i have clicked on sign in then i have selected this pabli connect access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect and after reaching here firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm going to provide the name as sync google drive files with notion automatically okay i'm going to provide this particular name now click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application automatically okay according to our use case whenever any new file is uploaded inside google drive application automatically upload that file automatically add the link of that file inside notion application okay so this is how we need to always select the application in this trigger and application uh, in in which we are creating the automation and in this particular case i am building an automation in between google drive and in between notion so that is why i am selecting these two application now i'll have to connect these two application with the help of pabli connect okay basically i'll have to connect these application with the pabli connect so that with the help of which i can actually actually create an automation in between these okay so in the trigger event i want that whenever any new file is uploaded okay and here instead of selecting this new file i'm going to choose this whenever any new file is uploaded in a specific folder this automation should trigger or basically public connect should capture the data okay now i'll click on connect click on add new connection and simply provide the access of your drive in which you are about to upload the files okay well i have already created the connection earlier so i'll go with the existing connection only but make sure if you are building this connection for the first time you will have to go with the new connection only and here you can see since we are connected whatever the folders are available inside my google drive have started visible here and i am going to select this new folder with the name all new designs and files okay so let me search for the same here you can see it is actually visible at the top only now I will be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see whatever the data is available here. It will be captured via public connect but currently there is no data available inside this particular folder. So how about I firstly upload a specific file here and then I will show you that how the link for the same will be captured via public connect. Basically the details for the same will be captured via public connect. Okay so how about I randomly select any new new file here and then I'm going to upload the same file here you can see it is uploading one item is uploading okay it has uploaded clicking on this button save and send test request and wait for the response once again and here you can see the response is received already okay let me show you the file name which is neat revision notes okay so let me show you whether it has captured the very same file or not so I'll have to check for the title and here you can see we have this title okay 
so this is how uh, the connection in between google drive and public connect is working absolutely fine okay and now onwards every time you are going to upload something here the details will be captured via public connect that too in every 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes okay so just in case if you're not actually receiving the data in real time don't get bother okay just wait for 10 minutes patiently okay coming down here and let me even show you the link for that file okay so where is the link here you can see this is the link let me even open this particular link into a new tab all right so here you can see this is the downloadable link but here i would like to tell you one more very important thing that you will have to change the permission of this particular folder as a uh, anyone okay so let me even show you the permission the currently the permission of this particular uh, folder is anyone with the link okay basically anyone can view this particular link okay so you will also have to change the permission of this particular folder otherwise this link is not going to be the download okay let me show you this is the link okay now moving further to the next application and now I am going to connect notion with public connect and in the action event I'll be selecting this create database item simply click on connect simply click on add new connection connect with notion and here you will have to again provide the access of your notion account and since I'm already logged in into my notion application into a different tab so it will uh, ask me for the permission only okay so select the pages and here make Make sure that you provide the access of all the pages so here I am going to provide the page access basically I have created this particular page with the name all files okay so I think I have tick marked click on allow access and this is how once again the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be connected with public connect okay so let me show you the name of my page is all file links and here you can see since we are connected whatever the databases are available inside my notion application have started visible here okay why it is not visible I'll have to recheck it okay I have clicked on this refresh button something is wrong I'll have to build these connections for the for once again I think I have not provide the access of all the pages so that is why only single page is visible at the moment all right clicking on select pages and here I am selecting this particular section so that I can provide the access of all the pages. I think I have selected all the pages right now. And now I will be clicking on this allow access in front of you. And this time I'm really expecting that all pages should be visible here. All right, here you can see right now all the pages are visible here. Okay, so let me first to search for that file pages. Okay, here you can see. Secondly, it is asking for the file link, file file name and the content okay so basically whatever the columns I have created inside my page will be started visible here here you can see the file link and the file name the same columns which I have created here this content is the default column okay so I am going to paste the file link and the file name here basically I am going to map the file link okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so basically whatever the data we have just received via previous step we are going to provide this data in the second step and we don't even need to manually copy this data and paste it here we are going to map it how simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down all right so i have mapped that link okay what is the importance of mapping whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time all right let me also search for the file name okay where is the file name i'll have to check this particular response response once again and here you can see we have the title and we even have the original file name okay so how about I map this particular file name clicking on this button save and send test request and I'm really expecting that data to be arrived automatically and here you can see the data has been arrived automatically okay let me first delete that extra row okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to upload any new file here in every 10 minutes that data the link of that file will be sent 
along with the name automatically with your Notion application. And for that, you will have to create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once. Okay, after that, sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually. Okay, simply close Pabli Connect. And just in case, if you want to access this workflow, I will also attach the link of this workflow. And on clicking on this particular link, you will be able to access the very same workflow, very same automation inside your Pabli Connect account that to for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.